Guitar and Excel Interval and Modes Complement and Parallel Worksheet Part Number 11. Yeah, have you ever wondered why some soap is just for your hands? I mean, the bottle actually says specifically hand soap. Like you're restricted to just one body part. I mean, it makes you feel like breaking the rules. Washing other parts of your body with the hand soap. At least if you're a rebel like me. And honestly, that went fine. No problem at all. However, unfortunately, the slippery slope then got to me. Because I started thinking, you know, if washing my entire body with soap specifically designed for your hands was good, why not try toothpaste? Let me tell you, the extreme minty fresh experience of toothpaste is not designed for every body part, you know? But whatever. You live, you learn. Let's, let's just play some guitar. No, I don't know what that had to do with guitar, Phil. I was just thinking out loud. I'm going to get to the guitar thing now. Get off my back, man. Anyways, let's do some guitar and Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet but started in prior presentation. So if you want to build this from a blank worksheet, you may want to begin back there. If you do have access to this workbook though, there's a bunch of tabs on down below, including the first two representing the finished work, the final product. We have the numbered tabs, which will correspond to the related video presentation. So you can work through the practice problem piece by piece. The blue tab is where we're gonna continue working now. It's gonna be starting on the point that we stopped off at last time. So last time we put together our this two worksheets, the complement modes and the parallel modes. And then I'm gonna be adding to the worksheet with the complement mode on the right hand side. And if you want to put this on a standalone worksheet, you can do that, but I'm trying to limit the number of tabs that we would have or need as a reference tool. So I'm gonna put this on the right hand side and we're gonna be pulling from some of this information that uh, we put together in prior uh, presentations. So what we have here is we've started designing out uh, the circle and notice a lot of times when people, when we look at the scales, we tend to just look at the seven notes out of the 12 notes, which is great because that's the major kind of, the major measuring tool or the primary measuring tool that we typically use, but we lose some depth in thinking of it that way because we're losing the 12 notes in the musical alphabet because the seven notes that we have are given by the whole, whole half, you know, the, the formula that we used to get seven out of the 12. So this worksheet, if we work through the worksheet, I think it'll give us a good understanding of this whole, of the formulas here. In this case, we're looking at the major scale, which has the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. It'll give us a better idea of the intervals, what they mean, and it'll give us a reference tool to look at all of the major scales, which of course there are 12, 12 of them, because you can apply that same formula to each of the starting points of the 12 notes. So we actually did this two times. We have the green one, which we started up top, which is the C, and then we, we labeled it as the one, and we said that it was the interval of zero or uh, the, the, the first position, which is going to be the perfect first. And then we skipped one whole step to the two, and that's gonna be the major second, and then we did another whole step, so we, we skipped and went to the three, and that's gonna be the major third, which is an E, and then we had a half step, so we went to the four, which is the F, and that's the perfect fourth, five notes away, and then we skipped one again, because it's a whole step, to go over here, and so now we're on the G, which is the perfect fifth, seven notes away, and then we skipped one again, and so on and so forth. Then we did the same thing for the red ones. So here's the red one here, which I'm gonna say C sharp or D flat, and then I'm gonna call it the one, on the outer circle of the red and apply the same whole whole half. So we applied the same whole whole half formula here and we note that what's happening is this red circle is gonna shift to, to the right or clockwise, just a tick, right? So you can see the, these should match and you can see kind of that pattern. So now we're just gonna continue around the circle starting with a, with a D this time. So I'm gonna unhide so I can get some more space between B, G, and C, Z, and right click and unhide. I'm gonna to go to the right, and let's see if we can just fill this out a little bit further. 
So I'm going to say, let's format paint this to here. And let's just do some format painting to here. And then I'm going to format paint this here and here. And I missed one and I got the wrong one and then missed one. What are you doing for goodness graciousness sake? Let's go from here to here and then here to here and then here. I'm going to format paint there and I'm going to format paint this to these two and format paint this to these two and then format paint this to here and format paint here. And then we're going to format paint these two, format paint these two, and then format paint this, format paint that, and then let's format paint these two. And we're going to have to do that basically every time. So maybe we'll just do it one circle at a time. So now let's hide as much as we can. So I'm going to go from here, CX on back because I want to see these circles and so let's go to this one right click and then hide and now I'm on the key of D so I'm going to change my entire worksheet to be in the key of D now so I'm going to say all right this is going to be the key of D which is a six so now we're in the key of D our worksheets are in the key of D and so let's put this together then using that so let's start this from here this is going to be the first it's staggered from the last one it's going to be the perfect first, which I could get there, or I can see it on this circle. And now I'm going to pick up that perfect first right there. And then we're going to go a whole step. So we're going to skip this one and go to this one. I already put a two there, but let me do it again. There's the two. Uh, hold on a sec. There's the two. And then this one's going to be now it's an E. So there's the E. There's the two and the interval is the major second so then we're going to go to another whole step so we went whole whole and so now we're on uh the f sharp and this is going to be the three and we're going to say that this is going to be equal to here's the three it's a g uh, f sharp and i can see the interval is a major second and then we're going to say okay so now we went whole whole half so now we're going a half right here and I can see it's still staggered one tick to the to the left so I can pick up that numbering on this side we're looking at the G now the G is here in this circle the interval is the perfect fourth the fourth is the is the the place in the scale the seven note scale the five represents the total notes away uh, in all the 12 note scale and then we're going to say okay so then we did that one and now we went uh we're gonna what, what did i do i said i said here whole whole half and now we're on the holes again so i'm going to go here and say this is whole for the five there's the five this is going to be equal to the perfect fifth seven notes away whole and then another hole so we're going to go up here to the hole and this is in the wrong spot right there this should be up here so i'm going to say this is going to be up here for the hole and this is going to be equal to the six and here we're going to say this is equal to the six which is a b which is a uh, major six nine what hold on a sec uh it's nine notes away that's correct but i think i got these two backwards because i want to say this one is going to be the six and then this one's going to equal the b which is a, a major six nine notes away and then i'm going to go here and say then we had another whole step whole step is going to be equal to this one so that's going to be the seven and it's going to be equal to the seven which is the c sharp and it is a major seven or 11 notes away and then we're going to go the seven has a half step back home so now we're back home again all right so let's do another one i'm going to unhide from here to here right click and unhide and put another circle around our thing here i'm going to have to bring it down a bit so i'm going to take this whole thing and and bring it down a little bit 
could do that every time. I want to copy it and paste it now. So I so I remove the formulas, taking the whole thing, copy and paste it one, two, three. And so then I'm on this one, the blue. So let's make a blue on the outside. Blue, format paint the 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 blue, and format paint the blue, format paint the blue, format paint the blue. Okay, now let's hide it again. I'm going to hide from here to our circles, right click and hide. The blue is going to be a D sharp. So let's go over here and say I want to change my key to a seven now, D sharp. And so then I can do the same thing on the blue. So the blue is going to be equal to the one. So there's the one. And then it's going to be the perfect first. So it's going to be there's the D sharp up here. Perfect first. We're going to say whole step. I put this in the wrong spot. It should be right there. Whole step, skipping that, going to here. We're going to say this is the second. It's staggered from the orange now. And that's going to be an F. There's the F. The interval is a major second. So now we're going to go whole step. So whole step here. This is going to be the three. This is a G. So here's our uh, G over here. So we can see the G. If I look at my G here and I go to this one, there it is. Now I have these staggered in my workshop. I'm going to pull these to the right and actually stagger them uh, like this. Now let's just keep it the way it is. Let's see what that ends up looking like. So we're going to say that and then I'm going to say that's uh, the three and then we've got then a half step to the four. So I'm going to go, okay, here's the four, which is right there staggered. And we're going to say that's a G sharp. So there's the G sharp. Here's the interval perfect four. And then we're going to say, now we're going to go the whole step to the five uh, here. I'm sorry, whole step to the five, which is up here. And so we're going to say that this is going to be equal to the five and then the five is an an a sharp so there's the a sharp it's the perfect fifth seven notes away and then a whole step to the six so there's going to be the six this is equal to that six and it's going to be equal to the six over here which is a c which is a major seven, 11 notes away, and then a whole step to the seven. I should, I missed some formatting of the blue here, formatting of the blue here, and then formatting of the blue over here. So now we're on the seven, which is the diminished with a dot. And this is gonna be then, there's the seven. It's gonna be the uh, major seven, 11 notes away. All right, let's do it again. I'm going to unhide here. Unhide. Hopefully I haven't messed anything up because I'm going to finalize it now by copying and then paste. I'm going to copy the whole thing and then paste it just one, two, three. So there we have it. And then I'm going to pull it down one and do the next layer. So the next one is the purple. So I'll make the purple format paint out to here format paint to there, format paint these two, format paint these two, and then this one, I'm, I'm gonna format paint it there, and then I'll format paint it here, and then I'll format paint it here, and then I'll format paint it there, and then we'll format paint it here, and then We'll format paint that here and format paint that there and then format paint this here and format paint that there and format paint that there, format paint this one 
and there's the next circle okay let's let's hide this from CV on back to here right click and hide and then I'm gonna say that now we're on the purple which is an E or 8 so I'm gonna change my key to be in 8 so there we have it so now I'm gonna say all right the key is in 8 so I'm gonna I'm gonna go okay so this one now is the first so it's staggered from the blue and then this is gonna be the E which is now position one or the perfect first zero notes away then we have this is going to be the two and i put these two backwards here did i not i've got these two backwards so let me fix that i'm going to take these two pull this to the right grab this one and put it right there these two are backwards i'm going to take these two pull this to the right grab this one and put it right there Okay, so this is going to be then uh, the two is going to be over here, whole step to the two. And the two is going to be a major second. And then, so now we've got a whole step, another whole step. So we're going to go whole step over here. And so again, I think I have this one backwards. Let's put this here this here and this here so we want a whole step this is going to be three and then the three up here ties into that major third and then we've got a half step so a half step here which is going to be now whoop, uh yeah the four and then this is going to be the four which is here so we'll pull in that's the perfect fourth and then we've got the whole step it's going from the four to the five whole step is the five and this is going to be equal to the five which is a perfect fifth seven notes away and then going from the five to the six is a whole step so we're going to be over here Here's the six, and this is gonna be, the six is here. So that's gonna be a major six. And then we're gonna go from uh, the six to the seven, whole step. Here's the seven. And then this is gonna be uh, the seven, which once again is a major seven, 11 notes away. And then a half step back home. All right, let's copy the whole thing and then paste it down. So we do the formatting copy and I'm gonna paste it one, two, three. Then let's unhide from here to here, right click, unhide, go into the right. I'm gonna pull this full thing down. I'm gonna pull that down. And so now we're on the the yellow so let's format paint the yellow across format paint format paint we're going to format paint format paint here format paint there format paint here format paint format paint format paint there format paint there Format paint these two, format paint this one, format paint this one, format paint these two, format paint these two, format paint here, and format paint there. Okay, so then I'm going to hide from CU over to BH, right click hide. And I'm going to change to an F now. So I'm going to go over here and say my key is now in, the, in an F, which is a 9. So there we have our 9. Now, note you don't really need this circle to, do, to populate this, right? Because we can see it's all staggered. So I could just say this is going to be the 1 now. And this is going to be the perfect first, zero notes away. Then we go a whole step. And I can see it's staggered to the 2. So here's the 2.
and that's going to be a major second. And then we go a whole step. So we can see a whole step is going to be here. I'm going to say this is to the three. And this is going to be a, well, maybe I should have put, I've got these two. This should be the three down here. And this is going to be a major third. And then we're going from the three to the four, which is a half step. So I'm going to say half step is here. I've got these two backwards again. When I go around the circle, I get them backwards. Sorry about that. My fault. I have a problem. Okay, so then we're going to go here and say that we did 3 to the 4. It's going to be here. So, so we went to the 4 right there. So 3 to the 4. I think if, I don't know exactly what I was doing there. I think I got, but there it is. So, and then four to the five is a whole step. So we're going to go that over here and tab. And that's going to be the perfect fifth, seven notes away. And five to the six is a whole step. So we'll be down here and there's the six. And that's going to be a major six, nine notes away. And then a whole step to the seven which is going to be here and that's going to be a major seven away so let's try to continue the rest of this with just without having to adjust the key so i'm going to unhide these right click unhide and we'll see if we can just do the rest of these internally that'll be a little faster maybe so let's take this whole thing pull it down a few cells now all right, so let's make this green. Let's copy this green around. Green, green, format paint to the green. Format paint the green. Format paint the green. Format paint the green. Format paint the green. And again. And so there we have fancy green. Green. Oh no. Now I've did I format painted two of them. I was trying to avoid that. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. And then it happened for crying out loud. Okay, green, green, green. And then let's just keep going. If I go to the to the red, here's the red. Here's the red. Here's the red red and red and then red 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 and continuing here this one's in the wrong spot what is wrong with you with you i don't know i don't don't make me get the list out don't make me get the list out of the things that are wrong i've been working on it for decades okay here we go and then we'll put this one down here and then now we've got the blue we'll format paint the blue around on the blue ultra vase another time another time of good times we're going around another time of good times Okay, so then this is going to be blue, 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 oh, oh, okay, paso, oh, and then blue, and then blue, and blue, and then we're on the purple, purple. Here, here, and then here, here, here. Oh, no, no, undo. Purple is here. And then here, and here, 
and then we'll put some purple out here and here and here and here and here and there and there and brown brown we're gonna say the brown is out here so put some brown around brown around so we've got the brown 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 and then brown brown and then brown 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 and brown brown finally brown and one more time on the light orange format painting the light orange light orange and so we'll paint this around it's light orange it doesn't have too many calories in my orange juice because it's light orange and so we'll just copy this one around 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 oh. and then around around and here and here and here and there okay whoo all right so now we could just go around the horn on this thing so we left off on the green so if i make the green the one then it's just going to see it's just going to say okay this is the one let's do this fast we're going to say that's the one that's going to be the perfect first zero notes away whole step skipping this skipping this one going to this one this is going to be the two this is going to be the major second two notes away uh, but that's in the wrong spot major second two notes away and then we're going to go from the two to the three which is a whole step so there's the three it's staggered and the three is going to be i don't know why i don't have the three here all right something funny happened here this should be the three should be the major third and the four on the yellow should be the perfect fifth so the three here uh so the three here should be the major third there we have it so three to the four is a half step so now we're going to say this is the four and it's going to be a perfect fourth and then we're going to say four uh, to the five is a whole step so we skip this one whole step over here there's the five and that's going to be the perfect fifth the five to the six is a whole step here's the six it's going to be the major nine major six nine notes away and then six to seven is going to be a whole step skipping that one whole step for here and that's going to be the major seven eleven notes so now we went back to the one half step back to the one let's do it again if we make this one the one that's going to be the one at a g it's going to be the perfect first we go to a whole step so we say whole step going to the a is going to be i've got it backwards again the a is the two and it's going to be the major second so going from the two to the three is a whole step so we'll be up here with the three whole step and it's going to be the major third four steps away three to the four is a half step so we'll put that here half step and it's going to be a perfect fourth four to the five is a whole step so we'll skip this one and go whole step here boom and that's going to be 
a perfect fifth, and then five to the six is a whole step. So we're gonna go down here to the six and say dit dit. That's gonna be the six, which is a major six or nine notes away. Six to the seven is a whole step. So there's the seven. It's a major seven and seven back to the eight or one is a half step. And then if we make this one now, the one, we're gonna say, and I got these two backwards again, let's see if I can get everything going the right way. And so now we're gonna make this one the one. So this is the G sharp, it's gonna be the one, which means it's a perfect first. And then we go whole step to the two. So there's, that's the one, whole step to the two, which I'll put here. And that's gonna be the major second, two notes away. Going from the two to the three is a whole step. So we skip one, whole step to the three. There's the three, that's gonna be the major third. And then three to the four is a whole, is a half step. So we go half step, to the four, major third, four notes away, four to the five is a whole step. So we're gonna say, okay, here's the five right there. It's gonna be a perfect fifth, seven notes away, five to the six is a whole step. And I'm missing the blue ring here. For So I'm just gonna, well, <laughs> I'm gonna pull these down and add the blue that I have forgotten, the forgotten blue. Without the blue stripe, there's chaos. You need the blue stripe in there to keep order for crying out loud. What are you trying to get anarchy? Okay, there's the blue, there's the blue stripe. Okay, so then I left off on the five, five to six is a whole step. So this is gonna be a six. And that's going to be the major six, nine notes away. Six to seven is a whole step. There's the seven. There's the major seven. Seven to eight is a half step. So we're back home here. Let's do it a couple more times here. This is going to be the one now, which is now the A. It's the one. Uh, put it in the wrong spot, though. It's the one. It's going to be a perfect first. And then we're skipping whole step to the two. So here's the two up here. Uh, uh, no, wait a second. Did I, I skipped the, I didn't do it with the, I'm on the wrong one here. What is happening? There's the blue, I'm on the purple. So there's the blue and there's the purple. I'm missing a purple here. That's what's driving me crazy. I'm missing a purple. That's how it got messed up. Let's put a purple in there. Okay, so now we're gonna say this one on the A is now the one, which we're gonna call perfect first. And then we go whole step to here, which is now the two, and that's gonna be the major second. And then we're gonna go uh, two to three is a whole step. So I'm out here, that's gonna be the three. Uh, this is gonna be the three, and I'm gonna call that a major third, four notes away. Three to the four is a half step. So we're gonna say there's the four, it's a major third, four to five is a whole step. So there's the five, dude, that's gonna be a perfect fifth. Five to six is a whole step. And that's gonna be a major six, nine notes away. Six to seven is a whole step. And that's gonna be then the major seven, 11 notes away. And then half step back home. Let's do it two more times. And so now we're on the brown, which is a A sharp, B flat. So we're gonna say make this the one perfect first and then we go from there whole step 
to here, the C. This is going to be the 2, which is a major second. And then we go a whole step from the 2 to the 3, skipping that one to the 3. And this is going to be a major third, four notes away. 3 to the 4 is a half step. So there's the 4. It's a major 4. And then 4 to the 5 uh, is a whole step. So we're going to go over to the 5 whole step away and this is going to be the perfect fifth seven notes away five to the six is a whole step so there's the six that's going to be a major six nine notes away six to seven uh six to seven is a whole step so and so that's right so six to seven is here boom boom and then seven to eight or back to one is the octave with a half step. Let's do it one more time. So now we're gonna say that the B is the one. If we start on a B, we're gonna make it the one. That means it's a perfect first, zero notes away. And then we're gonna go whole step to the two. So the two's over here. Say so that's the two, and it's gonna be a major second, whole step from the two to the three. There's going to be the three, it's going to be the major fourth, or major third, four notes away. Going from the four to, to the five, hold on a second, I went uh, from one, whole step to the two, and then whole step to the three, and then there's a half step to the four. So here's the four. And that's going to be a major third four notes away from four to five is a whole step so here's five that's going to be a perfect fifth seven notes away from five to six is a whole step five to six and that's going to be a major six nine notes away six to seven is a half step so here's uh six to seven i'm sorry is a whole step six to seven is a whole step right so what am i doing here i'm getting a little tired at the end i'm getting close to the end it's, it's, it's getting okay so there's that one and then half step back home so hopefully i got that correct <laughs> and then so let's copy the whole thing and then i'm just going to paste it one two three although i don't think i need to but i'm just going to do that one more time to make sure it's not referencing anything else so, so I'm going to copy and paste it one, two, three. So it's kind of a standalone static worksheet. Let's put some borders around the whole thing. Put some borders around it. Boom. And so, so if I missed any, if I messed anything up, I'll, we'll, I'll keep on I'll possibly look at it later. Keep on taking a look at it, but you get the idea of if you go through that i think that actually helps a lot to kind of get the to get the pattern down right click i'm going to insert and then i'm going to put a header on it shift cells down i'm going to put a header on it that's going to be called this i'll just call it that major ionian scale with 12 notes there's the intervals I'm going to format this across, right click, format, uh, format cells, alignment, and I'm going to center it across. And then I'm going to make it home tab font group black and white, make it a little bit larger on the font size. So I'm going to say the font size, let's make it go up a bit. And so there we have it. <clears throat> And so that'll give us basically all of the majors. Now, again, we could do the same thing with all of the other related modes. And so we might take a look at that because I think it's just a good exercise to, uh, to just go through and you'll see the different intervals and just really drill home this idea of the whole, whole half or the other intervals if we start on a different location for the different modes.